Hey everybody, how's it going? Your man Hades Timer here, and uh, we are taking a look at Red Dead Redemption 2, as promised. Um, I did kind of hem and haw, as you know, about uh, whether or not I was going to um, show this or uh, deal with it in any way, because it's kind of an omnipresent force at this point, and I know that a ton of channels, a ton of outlets... Uh, you know, everybody and their brother basically is um, showing this game, and I, I just don't feel like, uh, I mean, I haven't had it any longer than anybody else. Actually, I've had it less time than a lot of people because uh, I only got it uh, on the night when it was available as opposed to everybody else who, uh, all the outlets and a lot of, uh, not a lot of streamers, but some streamers. Um, got it uh, at least the day before it came out, if not uh, a week before it came out, which is quite a long time, uh, even for a game like this that's so massive. Um, so uh, the subtitles are on, as always. Uh, the um, the voice acting in this game is very, very good. Uh, the only person that I, I don't really care for very much is the main character, Arthur Morgan. Um, I don't think his dialogue is too great. Uh, it's uh, Maybe it's just written badly, um, or maybe it's solely the delivery. I don't know. It's very hard to tell. Um, all I can say is that his, his acting, his uh, speech is very stilted. Uh, it doesn't flow. Uh, he has a tendency of kind of making partial partial statements and then he'll finish it you know uh, it's a, it's an odd you know it's a unique uh you know way of speaking at the very least but uh definitely not uh you know i, I don't know i didn't care for it uh, maybe it's just my personal opinion uh i don't know uh everybody else though is very very good um some of the best voice acting in a game that I've seen in a while, um, better than a lot of stuff this year, uh, not better than everything, certainly, uh, but it's better than a lot of things. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the prequel to Red Dead Redemption, and um, there is a mission in the game where you actually uh, meet a very young John Marston, who is the uh, main character in Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, so, uh, this is being played on a PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, it is, in the beginning here, very dark. Uh, it's coming over on the YouTube, uh, on YouTube much darker than it was in uh, the regular game. Uh, the capture, by, by way of that, I mean the capture is darker. Uh, I don't know why, but it is. Um, I was actually a little bit worried about it being washed out because I felt like I had uh, set the uh, brightness a little too high, but uh, I don't know. I guess it, it didn't work that way, but that's okay. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, you'll see it on your TV slash monitor, whatever you uh, play games on. Um, there's a lot of detail in this game. A lot of work has been put into making things look very realistic. Um, there are a lot of uh, animations that are um, specially done. Stuff that normally you would not see. Uh, it's very difficult to explain all of them, but uh, there are a lot more than you would normally have. Uh, in an open world game, or even in uh, many cases in a uh, you know in a very linear single player uh, experience where it's just you know you're going down a story path. Uh, so I mean, hats off to Rockstar; they've done a very very good job. Uh, I know there's been a lot of controversy over their crunch policies, and um, considering this game's been in development for seven years it's hard to believe that they had so many periods of crunch considering they had all that time to work on it however it is a very ambitious game uh there's a lot of monumental things in it that are hard to believe exist on a console um this game the more i play this game the more i want to see a pc version um because i believe that 
PC version would probably be one of the best looking games uh, possibly of all time. Uh, so it would be really nice, considering this is a multi-plat, for it to come out on PC. Uh, even if it does take another year, I would be happy to start it all over again and play it on PC. Um, so anyway, um, there's not a heck of a lot I can say about this game that hasn't already been said. Uh, I am farther in the game than the video shows. I took approximately four hours of footage, uh, and I'm only using the first hour uh, because I don't really think that there's a reason to show more than that, and as it is, this video is going to be filled with spoilers if you read all of the dialogue. Um, if you don't, then maybe it won't you know, really matter. Uh, there are a lot of cutscenes in the game. Uh, the game is very much a transitional... Uh, type of affair. Uh, they're definitely going for a Western movie feel. Um, there are a lot of transitions and cuts and um, fades and all kinds of stuff that are very um, signature cinematic features, uh, as well as some of the um, some of the different things they use. In the game itself, as far as uh, ways of handling certain situations, uh, definitely are very, very, uh, you know, the, it is definitely, obviously, a movie type experience. Um, and uh, the game has a very, very slow start, as you can see. Um, serves to create a certain amount of tension that I felt all the way through pretty much the entirety of the tutorial section of the game, which is the whole game until you get to uh, the open world section, which is somewhere between two and three hours from the beginning of the game. Uh, so it is a very difficult game to... Um, you can't really rush... Uh, you can, but, I mean, it doesn't really work all that well. Um, and because of the way that the game is paced, uh, you don't even feel like it's appropriate to rush in most cases. There was a few, there were a few instances where I, sh you know, could have walked and I ran, but then I stopped and I kind of started walking again. Um, it's very interesting in that way. And it also changes, I feel like, just playing it, kind of changes the way that you feel about pacing in games in general. Uh, I was just playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, don't ask me why I was playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag a couple of days ago, but I was. Um, I was messing around with uh, trying to get it to look good and play well, uh, which is, uh, believe it or not, even on very high-end hardware, uh, a little tricky. Um, I did get it nailed down. But uh, in doing so, I got farther in the game than I've ever gotten, um, and uh, I'm really enjoying playing it again, which uh, I was a little surprised about. I thought, oh, you know, with all the games out now and all the things going on and everything else, this real old game, uh, I don't know why I would be so excited about it, but once you get past some of its issues, um, it's very compelling. It's a very compelling game. Um, but anyway... Um, in that game, you are very much encouraged to walk in some areas and then run in other areas. And sometimes uh, it is very obvious, and sometimes it's not obvious at all. Sometimes it's very, very much uh, something that you would have to be really paying attention to realize. And uh, there is definitely, in the beginning of that game, uh, a very bad pacing issue that they have. And then as the game kind of progresses, um, at least as far as I'm into it, which is only about three hours, um, it starts to go away. You know, that the pacing issue starts to go away and it starts to calm down. The game calms down a little bit and it stops making you do different stupid things. Um, in this game, the pacing is the same all the way through the beginning of it. 
Um, and then after that, obviously, you can do whatever you want. Because um, it's an open world game. Uh, so we'll I will see how that works out for me later on in the game. Uh, I haven't really played too much of the open world part. Um, I did have a big technical issue uh, the day after this game came out. So uh, I did have that to deal with and I lost. I, I thought I was going to lose all my Red Dead Redemption coverage actually because I had this technical issue. So uh, I was glad that it didn't that didn't happen. But uh, it did set me back quite a bit. Uh, I was glad that I had a lot of things done. Uh, before all that happened so that I didn't have to have a uh, lull in the content um, even though you know maybe that wouldn't have been so bad because you know it, it, having a little lull every once in a while does uh, is good because it gives people a chance to catch up which I, I always I don't ever think about honestly um, I, I try to actively think about it every once in a while but I always forget about it because I'm always in the mood to watch more content uh, I never am one of those people that gets overwhelmed uh, at least not with YouTube uh, with uh, definitely with Netflix uh, for sure uh, I'm completely overwhelmed with Netflix uh, I will never watch all of the shows that I want to watch uh, on Netflix it just I just don't have the time um, but I mean, on YouTube, uh, all the shows are, you know, all the, uh, all the content is relatively short. Um, and, uh, so I mean like the longest thing that you can watch probably is about an hour and a half. And even then probably not something you would necessarily watch the whole hour and a half, uh, let's say. So, uh, you know, that part of it isn't that big of a deal, but, um, as far as like, other things like uh, on the whole I would say that the typical show is maybe like a half hour to 45 minutes so I can watch you know quite a bit of a day and uh, I do a lot of times end up watching quite a bit uh, so like I said it's never something that I think about like oh you know um, I, when I am making content or trying to decide whether or not I'm going to uh, put something up I often have to, you know, re, you know, um, remind myself that putting up multiple videos, for instance, of a day is not probably a good idea because people aren't going to be able to get a chance to watch all of it. They're going to watch one video, you know, one of the videos maybe, and then they'll say, oh, well, you know, I'll watch that other video later, you know, the next day or the day after or whatever. So uh, I try to keep it to one video a day max and then uh lately i've been trying to kind of do one video every day or at least one video every other day um so that again people have a chance to uh people have a chance to to keep up uh if you notice the horses are digging in the snow to to get to the grass um and the effect of that is kind of uh, broken in the uh, in the spring uh, because uh, there's no snow and the and the horses do the same thing. Um, I mean, horses paw at the ground. I'm not going to say that it's not right that they're doing that, but when I first saw that, I thought that that was the horses pawing in the snow to get to the grass because they were hungry. Uh, but it was just that animation train. Uh, this is a tense moment uh, because uh, your um, your uh, uh, Dutch is interviewing these guys, uh, ask, talking to these guys, trying to get them to let us um, let us stay at this this house or at least get some food from them, and uh, you're just being told now that you know. These guys might not be what they seem. There's a there's some bodies here in this in this wagon covered up. So you, we better watch out. So Arthur's over here behind the uh, behind the in, in this barn, this burned out barn thing or burned out something, and uh, he's watching this whole thing. And the game tells you that you have to protect Dutch, uh, and so that's like the point. But 
the main thing that you think about in this situation is, uh, you know, what's going to happen, you know. So I got, uh, <laughs> I got ready, but um, now the game, the game is just great. Uh, I think it's uh, one of the best. I mean, certainly the the best game of this type that has ever been made. Um, you know, Western, open world, uh, even even Western action game. You know, um. As far as, like, people have been, you know, pu this has gotten the best review score on Metacritic, uh, like, next to, like, what is it, Ocarina of Time is the only thing that has a better review score than this. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess. Um, it's a good, it's a real good game. It's not, it's not, to me, it's just not that. It's just not all that to me, at least not yet. Uh, I haven't gotten that far in it. Uh, I have gotten far enough, in my opinion, to be able to um, talk intelligently about it, I feel like, but not so far as to be able to know what these people are talking about as far as being, you know, the greatest game, practically the greatest game ever, so to speak. Um, it's a low, it's a very beautiful game, uh, on Xbox one X. It performs really, really well. Um, on PS4 pro, I feel like it performs really, really well. Um, as far as like, um, in 4k or whatever, I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played it in 4k. Uh, I've only played it with capture, so I don't really know how it looks in 4K. Apparently, it's not really rendering 4K. Uh, on PS4 Pro, it's like 1440p upscaled. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to look uh, on my monitor. Um, usually, it looks good. I mean, this the, the way that it looks here is, uh, you know, the um, 4K downscale to 1080p. Uh, with all of the accoutrements of, you know, really, uh, you know, high, you know, high resolution, high, uh, you know, advanced graphics kind of thing. Um, but other than that, it's not like there are parts of the game that definitely blow you away. Um, we just haven't gotten to that point yet in the video. Um, I feel like this beginning part is a very, like, it, they're trying to, they're very much setting the game up. Uh, they're setting up kind of what, you know, where your history. Um, and I think that the interesting part of Red Dead Redemption 2, more than a lot of other games, is that they don't really shy away from quiet moments where you're talking to another character. Um, and where not a lot of other stuff is happening. Um, and they seem to have a certain, like, not, it's based in reality, certainly, but it, it's like that whole thing of, um, those quiet moments that can happen in a movie where one character is just talking to another character and nothing really is happening. Um, they, they seem very unafraid to do that. And in fact, that a lot of times they actually kind of force that. And I feel like that's really, really good. And, um, it works really, really well. And I, I it's just something that other developers, I feel like are either too, uh, afraid to do, or they don't want to stretch, the writing part of it to that degree. Uh, because when you start to have, you know, conversations with people that are not necessarily 100% um, story relevant, then you start to stretch some of the writing that is in the game. And, and that might be just a big, you know, just a, just a big bed of, we don't know what the hell we're doing, you know, <laughs> kind of a thing. Um, as you can see, there's like snow on this, these windows. They're not, uh, they're just 
tra- they're translucent, not uh, you know, and, and how the snow is is just lightly covering them, and then you can kind of see the the uh, you can see the light through them. You can see like the the icicles and everything. Uh, it's very very cool. I uh, very very much like all the aesthetic in the game. Uh, it's very very well done. Um, some of the details in this game, uh, especially that are um, ver- things that you are repeating uh, very often, uh, seem like they were details that were done unnecessarily and perhaps it should be considered, you know, maybe not a good idea to have done it. Uh, for instance, when you loot a enemy you go through the whole animation of like patting them down and looking for their through their stuff rather than it just looting them you know just automatic loot uh the same thing with skinning animals it's a similar uh situation there's a situation there's a part here where you pick up your hat and you pick up your gun um and they're actually like objectives like go do it uh, and there was a point in the game where I lost my hat and um, it took until the whole mission was over for me to get it back. Now, missions in this game are very long. It's like the whole story section. So it took like a, it took about a half hour uh, and then I got it back. I don't know where I lost it. I have no idea. But uh, I got shot off my head or got knocked off my head or something. I don't know. And it, it was just gone. And um, I wondered if it would come back because it is like a part of the story, so to speak. You know, it's used like in cutscenes. So I wondered uh, if it would come back, and it did. Uh, but it took like until that next story cutscene um, that was like a half hour from the last one. It was it was pretty crazy. Um, I don't really understand that kind of stuff about this game uh why they did that what the impetus was to be that detailed um because you know it's under some to some degree it's understandable you know but to another degree it's just like oh god guys you know do you know you realize how many times the player is going to have to do this right you know, like patting down the enemy, for instance. You uh, you realize how many times that somebody's going to have to do that in the game, and they're going to have to sit there and watch that over and over and over again. Um, that just seems to me to be, you know, really ridiculous. Um, it's realistic, you know, but uh, it's not something that I necessarily want to deal with. Um, the other thing with the game is that it does have a survival element. Uh, you will, you have to be uh, worried about getting too cold or too hot. Uh, you have to worry about your hunger and your thirst. Um, these all affect uh, how you perform. Uh, if you're a little too hungry or a little too thirsty, you might, you know, lose some health and not perform quite as well. That kind of thing. Uh, I haven't really gotten too much into those systems yet, uh, being as I just got out of the tutorial not too long ago. So uh, that didn't, uh, you know, that hasn't affected me that much. I do see the meters going down, but I haven't really done too much about them, and it hasn't done anything. But again, I was in the tutorial at that point, so a lot of things that are in the tutorial uh, aren't quite the same in the regular game. They, they're a little bit more... Um, they're they're less you're you're less affected by it so anyway um game is pretty amazing overall um i am hesitant to say too much more than that um only because i again i haven't gotten that far and while i am impressed by the technical prowess of the game um, it does have a lot of limitations, 
Uh, the game runs at 30 frames a second ish, unless you're running on an Xbox One X, and then it runs at 30 30 frames per second, pretty much locked throughout the entire game. Um, the PS4 Pro apparently runs between 25 and 30 frames a second. Uh, you can't tell. I mean, I definitely couldn't. Uh, the game runs at a very slow pace. It's not like a first-person shooter, so it's impossible to really to tell. Um, it would be interesting to see uh, on a PC this game running at 60 frames a second, 4K. Um, it probably won't be able to, except on like a 2080 Ti, um, because there will be a lot of graphical flourishes and things like that that you'll be able to turn on on the PC that will probably affect the frame rate. Um that are cut down in this version, uh, the console version, you know, so whether it be Xbox One X or PS4 Pro or whatever. Um, the Xbox One X does run at a native 4K, which is crazy, but again, it runs at uh, at 30 frames a second locked, um, probably with a V-Sync, I'm guessing that's how it's locked. Uh, anyway, so, uh, the game runs very, I mean, on PS4 Pro, the run, wait, the game runs great. Uh, I haven't had any technical issues at all. Um, the only thing that I would say about the game that I was a little bit put off by was that you cannot really save manually at any time during the tutorial, which, as I said, the tutorial is like two hours, uh, Maybe three. Um, the game does autosave, and uh, usually when you see the little uh, chambers of the gun spinning in the corner, then you know for a fact that the game is autosaved. Uh, beyond that, though, it's kind of a crapshoot. So I would sit down and play the first at least two hours of the game. Um, straight and then uh you know when you can manually save then that's when you would take a break or stop or whatever you want to do um it was kind of an issue for me because i did want to kind of stop and and fix something and and then come back and i figured out that i wasn't really able to do it um every place that i went into to try to Save. I felt like that I should be able to save. The game said that save game is not available. So um, that's just how it is. Uh, I don't know why they decided to do it that way. It's very annoying. And uh, you could possibly lose uh, a lot of progress if you had to quit for some reason um, at some point in the game. Uh, there are a couple of long sequences uh where if you if it doesn't save at all which it doesn't during those sequences then uh it, it saves at the beginning and it saves at the end so if you can't get to the end um and it hasn't and it hasn't saved then you're gonna have to go all the way back to the beginning and start the thing over again um i would say it's about a half hour progress maybe 45 minutes depending on you know the part of the game that you're in um but apparently this uh, this goes away after you are in the regular part of the game so you can save wherever you want i think in the regular part of the game at the very least you can save at camp so uh if you have to come back to camp every time i don't know but uh you know no idea. Like I said, I haven't gotten that far in the game. I saved at camp, so <laughs> that was that was where I saved, um, and I have a manual save from that. Uh, but beyond that, can't tell you. Wouldn't know. Um, but anyway, so uh, this this part of the game is where you're going off to find John Marston. Uh, he's just a, he's a he's a he's a kid. At this point, I think he's like. I would say he's between 13 and 16. Um, hard to tell at this point in the game, you know. Um, I pretty much enjoyed 
every single time you got to go out with one of your uh, camp, uh, one of your gang members and do something, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really like the interaction between Arthur and all of the different gang members in these situations. Um, I think it's they're done exceptionally well. Um, beyond that, I, I don't know. I can't really say too much. Um, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed what I've played. Uh, that's about as far as I can go with it. Um, I will be spending a good deal of time playing Red Dead Redemption Two. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be recording if I'm re-recording anything uh, from here on in. Um, I don't really think that it is necessary. Um, this game, this this video is going to be very spoiler filled. It is very spoiler filled, so I don't really want to add insult to injury and put more. Uh, you know, to 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 do more stuff like that. Um. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know. Please let me know if you want to see more Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff. I just feel like everybody's got the game, so it's kind of silly for me to to do that. I mean, this is like one of the most popular games, you know, ever. Uh, I mean, every single person on my friends list, the day this game came out, was playing it. And they were playing it the day after. So, I mean, I, I don't really feel like... I, who am I talking to here? You know, that's, I guess, what I'm saying. So, um, if you are interested in seeing more Red Dead Redemption 2 footage, please put it down in the comments. I do have more, but uh, I probably won't be using it, as I said. Um, the other thing is that... The other thing I wanted to mention was that... Um, we are going to be continuing with our Forza Horizon 4 Let's Play. And we're also going to be continuing with the Soul Calibur 6 uh, stuff. Um, I know, you know, a video just went up with the rest of the main story. And now we're going to be getting back to the character side stories so that uh, everybody can see those. And then we're going to be starting in on uh, the arcade, uh, the arcade playthroughs. Uh, for each one of the characters. So, um, and then, oh, oh no, before all that, sorry, oops, I'm wrong. <laughs> the next video that's coming out for uh, Soul Calibur Six will be a character story. And then after that, there will be a long, uh, long video uh, with the first uh, hour, let's say, of Libra of Souls, uh, which is the created character story mode and it will be with a brand new character uh that i did not have i've not shown before and uh with a brand new um she's not uh y you know she doesn't have the soul of mitsurugi she is the soul of somebody else so it's going to be a totally different character totally new playthrough whole thing um so look out for that that's going to be the next thing it's going to come out after the side story, the first uh, side story that we're going to have come out. It's going to be the side story, and then that, probably in between there, we're going to have uh, another, probably another Forza Horizon video. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not even sure when this is going up necessarily. So, um, all that coverage is coming soon <laughs> in what order i am not entirely sure but it is all coming soon so um i'll just uh you know think about that uh you can only have one gun in the beginning you can only have one gun uh equipped at a time like a one handgun um which is crazy but that's the way it is in the beginning uh you do get other weapons you get a, a rifle and you get uh, a hunting bow um the hunting bow is for hunting and the rifle is for killing guys um so 
you can have those equipped as well. Uh, you also get some rope, uh, so you get that. But uh, as far as you, you, in the beginning, you can only have one handgun equipped at a time, uh, which kind of sucks. I, I'm sure, I am 99% sure you get to upgrade that at some point, but I don't know when, and uh, I don't know what you have to do to do it. Uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet, obviously. So, um, God, I mean, it's just like, it's one of those things like, what do you say about Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, that hasn't already been said, you know, and it's so much has already been said that it's just so difficult to, um, it's so difficult to, to come up with something. Um, I will say that I am, uh. I'm I'm a little perplexed, excuse me, uh, to hear about all the things that are happening out of that whole Rockstar controversy with the with the crunch. Um, I don't get it. Uh, I don't know how a game takes seven years to make. Probably a budget that's virtually endless because, I mean, GTA Online makes more money and. A single year than practically the entire game industry put together. Uh, so I don't know how that, you know, how that could be an issue. Um, I mean, I know that from what I have heard, 2K is terrible to work for as a publisher. But I would think that Rockstar is their golden goose and they would never do anything, you know, to uh, damage their relationship with Rockstar. Considering, you know... You can maybe treat people badly, but that will affect their work product, and then you will get worse work product out of it, and then you will be not making as much money. So, you know, I would think that they wouldn't want to endanger that by forcing, you know, milestones on studios that can't handle it. Um, the upper management at Rockstar itself has been known to be hard-edged but by the same token i would think you know the games like i said had seven years in development if they were going to be that hard-edged about it you would think that that would be a low a lo you know a smaller development cycle then <laughs> you know it'd be like well we expect the world you know you better deliver uh here's the here's marston as a, as a kid anyway arthur morgan and marston are still uh, are already on bad terms uh which i think is interesting uh and it doesn't explain at least as yet what exactly did happen uh i don't know i don't remember if something happened in red dead redemption that it explained it but i don't remember i don't remember anything uh it's possible but i don't remember anyway um, I think all of the missions that all of the stuff that they have where you um, carry something and put it on your horse is all very well handled. I would say it's handled better in this game than almost any other game that I've ever seen, uh, which is, I think, an accomplishment. Uh, but by the same token, uh, you know, some of it is a little bit over over much. You know, they, they did it a little too much. But, you know, overall, it's fine. Um, I would say that that is kind of my reaction to the game totally. Uh, like, there are things that are wrong with it, for sure. But it, over the course of the, you know, over the of course of time that you're playing it, um, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really make the game worse you know it 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 there are th it, you know it definitely takes away from the experience a little bit but it's not like oh this is terrible it, it really messed the game up or something it's just sort of like eh you know it's fine i think that's really what it what it boils down to it's just like ah it's fine 
So you haven't learned how to skin yet, so you can't <laughs> skin the wolves. Uh, that's what I was going over there to do. I was thinking, oh, well, you know, wolf pelts. Here we go. Anyway, but, uh, yeah. So I guess that uh, I would say that that's probably, you know, my... I would say that's my first impression of the game, that uh, there's a lot of really good stuff in here that's held back a touch by some of the weirder choices that they made um, with some things. Um, but overall, those choices don't really affect the game overall. So therefore, uh, it's a very, very good game. Um, possibly coming out of a studio that does not appreciate their employees as much as they should. Um, given the result that we are, we've been given, uh, a lot of people have said, I mean, not a lot of people, but some people have, you know, said, well, the game is amazing looking and therefore, you know, all that crunch is worth it. Um, I would say as a counterpoint to that, uh, I can't, I would wonder what the game would look like if there wasn't the crunch, you know, if they didn't need to crunch. Um, because crunch usually creates a, a lesser product, not a greater product. Uh, also, I would say that those people who are working at Rockstar are probably not appreciated uh, as much as they should be. Um, given the fact that Rockstar is so, um, you know, they do, you do not they don't have an open relationship with the media. Um, I feel like, and this whole controversy is not going to make them more open. Um, I think that possibly we are seeing a very dedicated group of people who are very, very talented, who are being, uh, very much undervalued. Uh, that's, that's my opinion. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, but, uh, you know, on a seven-year development cycle, when people are saying that there's two large, two two very long periods of crunch, why? What are they doing that whole rest of the time? I mean, this game does not. I mean, a game, no matter how detailed, no matter how, you know, big. I mean, it fits on a, you know, the the. It's not endless, you know. Um, I don't know how that would, you know, how, how you would say, oh, well, you know, it took them seven years to make all this. It's like, I don't know, you know, maybe four years. It, it feels to me like not seven years for this. But I, I like I said, I haven't been, I haven't played enough of it to really say for sure. But, you know, that still seems like a long time to me is all I'm saying. So I feel like there should never have been a point where there was crunch. And if they knew that there would be crunch because of the size of the project, considering the resources that Rock that Rockstar slash 2K has at their disposal, I feel like they should have team you know, they should have staffed up. Uh if that was the, you know, if that was what was necessary then they should have staffed up. There was no, there's no excuse for not staffing up when you have the resources and the, you know, the the treasury of a 2K. You know that it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, like I said, the only thing that I can think then is that their team is very much undervalued. And that uh, people are not uh, looked upon as being as talented or as valued as they should be. So in this case, you have a choice between two different options. One of the they one will take you on a side mission. One will take you on the main mission. Uh, I didn't know that, um, but I had an issue with the main mission uh, near the end of it, um, and uh, I had to reload. 
and it reloaded me back here. So I went to the to do the other mission and it turned out it was a different side mission. So I am showing you the main mission uh, because I do not have a clean version of the, of the of both the main mission and the side mission to show you. So uh, that's why the events uh, play out in the way that they do. Uh, so old friends is the main mission. Anyway, um, so that that's my two cents. Uh, it's probably completely off base uh, as far as what the reality of the situation is, but none of us really know what the reality of the situation is because Rockstar won't, uh, you know, isn't open to people coming in and doing interviews and talking to developers and things like that. They're very much uh, closed-lipped, closed studio. Nobody, nobody comes in and everything. Very old school in that regard. Um, Rockstar is very much like, you know, game developers back in the 80s and 90s where everybody was worried that, you know, having the media in there would would uh you know leak secrets and all this other stuff uh you know people would be trying to i don't know give away proprietary information uh which all that is just absolute you know in, in this day and age where there are so many people you know so many developers showing off you know their studio at different times and talking about the development cycle and things like that uh it's a very the, it's a very draconian attitude to have, um, but uh, hey, whatever, you know, a lot of people will say, you, you know, would say, you know, they must be doing something right, you know, look at this game, um, which, you know, that's true, uh, I won't discount that completely, but uh, I don't know, again, you know, what could be achieved under different circumstances given the product that they put out under the circumstances that they're in. You know, things can always get better if you put people into a better circumstance, uh, I feel. But again, you know, not to harp on all that because I honestly, nobody really knows. Everybody's speculating. Everybody's, you know, kind of just assuming and uh, that's just not the right thing to do in this situation. And, uh, but the whole situation is very troubling to hear, and uh, I felt like I would be remiss, especially in a video like this, to not at least mention it, considering it's uh, happened so recently. But uh, as far as the game itself is concerned, I think the game itself is, as I've said many times before already in this video, very good and uh, done very well. All the voice acting is very, very good, um, and uh, especially the interactions that uh, you have as Arthur Morgan with different members of the gang. It really makes you feel like they're real people and that they have real ambitions and, and real motivations uh, as opposed to sometimes, you know, characters are just cardboard cutouts, you know, being propped up by one or two traits uh, and then, uh, you know, everything else is kind of left to the wayside. Um, so even this early in the game... Uh, you still are really feeling it, you know, bef at this point. Um, I will say one thing, though, that, that there is a point where in the story the Dutch kind of turns uh, from one person to another, kind of. Um, and apparently uh, Arthur, this is like Arthur's problem with Dutch, is that he's all of a sudden kind of, he turns into this other person. Um, and I guess that's maybe his his reasoning for kind of not uh you know not being gung-ho about you know all, everything dutch has got going on um so but that was it's strange in a way because it doesn't really it's not really paid off anywhere like you, you don't see it it just all of a sudden happens um and that i think was a little bit of a shortcoming but that's a very nitpicky kind of thing to say um, in the situ in the situation. Uh, I feel like overall it's it's handled very very well, 
But uh, if I had a criticism, it would be that. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it develops further on in the story. Apparently, the game is about 60 hours long without side quests. So, uh, you know, I'm probably you're probably looking at 100 hours easy uh, for this game. So uh, it could very easily be paid off somewhere else or explained better somewhere else, something like that. Um, I don't know. Again, the people who are watching this video right now probably know more about the game than I do because they probably played more of it than I have. Um, so, you know... <laughs> So I, I guess I'm just I, I'm just you know kind of talking out the side of my mouth here, um, but I think it's mostly because I don't have a lot else to say because again you know you can't how much can you really talk about something that's this good um, in the many ways that it is so good, um, and I've definitely explained as much of it as I possibly can as far as what I believe about it to be as good as it is and everything else. So um, I think I'm going to leave it there just because I feel like I've kind of said as much as I can say. And uh, if you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 footage, more Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff, uh, let me know in the comments and I will uh, do my best to, uh, to comply um, if not, just, you know, do whatever. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way out so that you know when, other, when no, more videos are coming out. You also have to hit the bell then if you really want to know, unless you frequent the subscription tab, which uh, I do, but I'm in the minority. So uh, I will talk to, uh, as you guys know, there's more videos coming up, more videos uh, coming out very soon. So look out for those. And uh, I hope to see all of you guys in the next video. Uh, have, I hope you're having a good day and uh, bye.